exciting, nerve-wracking, suspenseful, you name it. So now that we're headed to overtime, the teams need a time to reset their robots. Yep, right now they're talking amongst themselves and getting ready for match number three. Then it's a match for all the marbles. Playing for keeps. Leaving it all on the field. Well said, Abby. Speaking of on the field, Grant, how's it looking out there? It's actually looking pretty good, Tyler. Uh, I mentioned earlier, these teams are playing at the top of their game right now. They knew that match was close. They weren't sure if it was going to be the last match of the season or the third match or need to go to a tiebreaker match. Uh, I liked Abby's overtime term. I like that. Um, so while we were talking, they were already setting up just in case. So we're more ready than we expected we would be. So Keegan on the NASA field, what do we got? Thank you very much, Grant. Aloha, friends, come with me on a journey. Come back last year, here in April, right here in this arena. We revealed the game spin-up. In front of me, the last game of the 22-23 season of spin-up for the middle school division and the very last one of the entire 22-23 season as over-under gets revealed in just a couple of moments. But we have to determine a world champion of middle school first. Game number one, Opportunity defeating Technology, 194 to 192. Game two, Technology defeating Opportunity, 216 to 112. It all comes down to this. The crown will be put on one of these teams right now. Let's introduce them for the final time of the 22-23 season. First up, the number five seeded Alliance in the red. Technology division, please welcome Team 9123X Shanghai Rugon Robotics Team. And their partners, Team 3324U from Los Angeles, California, and the Science Academy STEM Magnet. Please welcome Supernova Hydra. The Blue Alliance, the number six seed overall in the divisions, Opportunity Division, featuring Team 9123C from Shanghai. Please welcome Shanghai Rugon Robotics Team C. And their partner, Team 101-2W from West Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. Please welcome 10 Ton Robotics. For one last time, Vex Nation, are you ready? One more time. The last game of the 22-23 season. Game reveal up next. Spin up ends here. Vex Nation, are you ready? <laughs> Dallas and around the world for the last time of the 22-23 season. We all count this down together. We start the match, the championship match, in three, two, one, go! Underway with 15 seconds on the autonomous side. Red goes up for three. Blue goes up for two. From the distance, blue off, red off. Last second shot. Red Alliance is questionnaire cross. Due to the crossing rule, technology gets the first 10 of the game. Drivers, three, two, one, go. A minute and 45, the road to the crown ends here. One minute and 45 seconds, down to a minute 35. Rollers right now, one roller to red, two rollers red, one blue, one neutral. Shots being fired away for the Red Alliance side. Uncontested goes another team in the red. Blue Alliance trying to catch up as far as they possibly can. But right now, the team from Rogan, or excuse me, the team from Supernova Hydra, too fast, too furious, and another two upstairs. Blue Alliance, though, Rogan Team C, looking up. And Khan is five, they're out in three. One minute, two seconds remain. Another couple of their shots upstairs, nothing doing. But some more up for Supernova Hydra. They're from distance. Tents on Robotics trying, but try as they might. The red container almost full to the brim. Down to 45. Another pair upstairs for the team out of LA. Shane is out. No extension warning. 35 remains. Another downtown shot for Rugon Team C. Nothing doing for only one. 
Rollers, though, right now with 30 seconds remaining. Rollers, three to one in favor of the Red Alliance. They'll change. It's even up at two apiece. 25 seconds. Down to 20. Teams will go to their respective sites. Respective corners. Ladies and gentlemen, the final 10 seconds. Eight seconds left. Champions board right here. Three seconds. Anybody else extending? And that is the buzzer. We have gone the distance in finals match number three. It all comes down to this. Scorekeepers, referees will tally it up. But only one of these alliances will be the champions of the middle school division in the world. It's back on over to Grant to wrap us up. Thanks so much, Keegan. That was a close match. It was the third match, the tiebreaker match. Those refs are going to need a little bit of time to score it. So I'm here with uh, my friend Dan Troy um, while those refs are scoring it, and we're prepping for, you know, that part that comes after the final match of the season. Uh, I've got some questions about that match. Dan, what did you see in that match? I mean, what did I see? Man, what did, what did I see? Uh, well, what did you see? <laughs> The microphone is ready for the more ready for the game reveal than I am. <laughs> I, mean, I hope everyone in the arena is ready for the game reveal. That's right. That's it was right. way hype. But before we get to that, yep. let's talk about this match. Please. I think to start off, autonomous, you gotta start there. That is where there the match is such, starts. You are correct. There is such expert huge, analysis here in World Championship. There's such a huge start when you are up by four, five, even six discs, mm -hmm. you can go with a completely different strategy. And yeah, it's, and it's, it's not just about the autonomous bonus points, it's about having those extra discs already off the field, right? Exactly, and when you miss shots and, they're, and they land in your opponent's home zone, uh, low, low goal, it's a four-point swing per disc that happens. Yep. And so critical. Critical. And, and is that something that you saw? At, like, you've been watching all three of these middle school finals matches. Was that a consistent, like, pivotal moment of each match, or was it something that only came out in this third match? Um, you saw it a lot in, in the second round as well as this, this third round. But when Blue gets behind, they play a completely different strategy when they're ahead. So really? in the first match... I actually missed that. So in, in the <laughs> yeah, first match, that. when Blue nailed their auto, they went right in the defense, and it was heavy and hard early, which I think took Red off I balance. Surprised. Yeah, yeah, because these teams are—they're not just watching their own robots; they're watching their opponents and like figuring out strategy. And so they were probably expecting Blue to do something totally different, right? Exactly. And and in this match, Red I think did a fantastic job of doing like a pick and roll, mm. and they were switching who was playing offense, and they weren't letting Ten Ton right. do what Ten Ton did in that first match. <laughs> So we, we're no strangers to 10 Ton here. Um, I think you told me some trivia about them before. What's the story of this team that's down in the dome? Well, I was actually just sitting next to their head mentor, and the wild stat he told me is this is a rubber match for them. Right now, they have three first place world championships, and they have three <laughs> second place. Ooh. So we know that they're, we know which one they're cutting for here. Oh, I mean, we know what they're gunning for, but I mean, 10 Ton, seven appearances in yeah. finals. Yeah, one of the largest organizations in the VEX program uh, coming out of West Vancouver. Really stellar program. They put out a lot of educational content. Everybody loves them. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, you watching that match really closely? You think it's edge and red? You think it's edge and blue? Do you have a guess? If, if I had to take a guess, I honestly think red got it. Really? I think the autonomous mode just put them in a stellar spot. Okay. Just put blue on the back foot. And Blue, again, they couldn't get the defense that they're used to. Yeah. And Blue, when you're so used to it, they're used to the defense winning the championship. Right. But they just couldn't, they couldn't get it. <laughs> that is a key thing in this game. It's an execution game. We talk about strategy games versus execution games. What does that term mean? So strategy games, you have to be able to go on the fly, and you have to be able to work with what your opponents are doing at the same exact time. And we, we saw the same thing in Vex U with what was going on with Wisco and XJTU. Wisco took them by surprise, and XJTU was trying to use their strategy and trying to beat them by using the rollers, and that's what we're seeing here. The teams that typically fall behind, they're trying to change the strategy on the fly and use the rollers, use the, the covering of the tiles. That's right, that's right. Well, it looks like we have that all-important score. Thank you so much, Dan. Tyler and Abby, who's our world champion?
That's right, Grant. We have our score, and that match belonged to the Technology Division. championship what are you going to do next <laughs> again <laughs> win it again he says how does it feel what's going through your head right now uh, since we're first years it's a really big surprise you're a first year team yes it's just oh the my goodness <laughs> give it up for this first year team world champion yeah say no more well that being said how do you feel about getting a front row seat to the best part of the show that feels right. good? That's that feels right. Because I think the crowd knows what time it is. You know what time it is. 